Hey, Roswell Community Church. It's good to see you all. Uh, I am joining you today from one of my favorite places in the world, and that is my backyard. Um, I love grass. I love taking care of my grass, and I thought I would share that a little bit with you. A couple of folks said, what happened to the view with the backyard? So now I decided to come into the backyard, invite you into what I call the puppies back here, the ones I take care of, make sure that they're beautiful and trimmed, and it gives peace to my home. And so in the midst of a lot of turmoil, I hope and trust that you're finding areas and means of peace both inside your house, with the Lord, outside your house. Uh, but I want to give you a couple updates. First of all, first update, you're wondering what in the world happened to your face, Matt? Yes, I have a one inch cut right above my eye and uh, I'm not gonna tell you what happened, but I'm gonna give you a chance on Instagram to go ahead and weigh in on what you think happened. There'll be a picture there of the actual cut. You can see just, in a, so your opportunity is to put a caption or, or a guess of what happened and then I'll reveal uh, the, the, the sordid details of all the awesome this, but I thought I'd go ahead and let that be a little bit of a mystery, but on to more important things. Uh, I wanted to give you an update, kind of come to you in the midst of all that's changing. We're waiting for uh, all kinds of orders from the governor today as to exactly what's going to continue to unfold as a, as a state and as a nation. And the situation continues to be very, very serious in a lot of different fronts. And, and one of the perspectives I just wanted to give today that I've been, been thinking about over the course of the last week as I've been interacting with some of you and, and folks online, other pastors around the nation, is, is that what we're seeing is this, this interesting dynamic of, uh, of three different continuums. That there's a, there's a continuum on the health front that some of us are, are tangibly concerned about our own well-being, the well-being of people we love related to, to the coronavirus and its effects and its likelihood to have impact directly on us. Healthcare workers in particular are affected in this way. And so some people are very concerned on the side of the, pin, of the, uh, the spectrum and other people feel kind of distant from it. At this point, people have been asking me, is anyone at RCC have, have the virus? No, no one at our church or even at this point even one degree of separation has had the virus so so it's 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 near and all around us but also it seems distant so there's everyone's on a little bit of a spectrum there secondly everyone's on a spectrum financially some people have been affected immediately some of you have been already laid off or your work has ended or your industry is shut down and and you're having to deal with the fact that you have financial needs that are emerging present tense and for other people they've been unaffected so far or don't see necessarily the effects being something that will take place in weeks or even months so everyone's on a spectrum there some majorly affected others minorly affected. And lastly, just time and energy. For some of you, your job, your role has just skyrocketed. You're working twice as hard as you were the three weeks ago. And for some of you, you can't do anything right now or you're stuck at home or you're having to figure out what it looks like to have kids. So everyone's on a spectrum. And I think one of the things that we have an opportunity for with one another, with folks online, with our families, is to be really gracious with realizing that not everyone is in the same place. And therefore, everyone's being affected in different ways, in different times, and in different manners on these three arenas of time, of finances, and of, of health in particular. So, so let's be gracious. Let's think well about how, what, is, what does it look like to interact and engage with one another in those particular arenas? Because we're all in a different place. And let's help. And one of the great things we get to do is to love one another by seeing where the other is coming from. So let's be curious with one another, especially if we're on a different end of any of those continuums or spectrums. A couple of updates I wanted to give you and then a, a really kind of cool in, invitation. Uh, one is uh, our, our accountant sent in the information about uh, our, our giving this, this March and uh, considering we have one of the most uncertain times economically, uh, the giving from you all has been uh, exactly what our budget needed. We're exactly at budget giving for March and I just wanted to celebrate that and say thank you. Like you all are awesome. You're generous. You're faithful and I just wanted to celebrate that. The second one's an an invitation and a call. A lot of us have been wondering how can I tangibly, specifically engage in trying to help do something. We're stuck at home. We want to help. It's very difficult to figure out what that looks like. Well, one of the ways we've been thinking about this as a leadership is, is the concept of from bailout to benevolence. One of the things that's happening is within the next two weeks, all of us, many of us, are going to be receiving a check or two checks, depending on our family, related to the, the, uh, the stimulus package that just got passed. And, and one of the things we're asking you, I'm asking you to invite you to think about, to listen to God and to respond to him about is, is there, is there a portion of or an element of that particular stimulus package check that's coming to you, to your family, that you can take and that you can turn around and give into benevolence. We're gonna be creating and have created a, a, a benevolence subcategory, bringing some folks in to kind of help us manage the opportunities that are present tense emerging, even within our church and, and then beyond that, as well as in the weeks and months ahead. 
there's, there's gonna be some financial challenges ahead, no doubt about it for a whole lot of folks. And what we wanna do is to go ahead and be prepared by having a fund that can carry us, that can lead, that we can love people precisely and specifically through those generosities. And, and this is for some of us unexpected times, but also unexpected funds are arriving in the next couple weeks. So I wanna invite you, I want you to invite you to pray and to think about, Lord, what do you have for me to do with this stimulus check that's coming to me? And in what ways might you invite me to turn this around and go from a bailout to a benevolence environment for people who are gonna really, really need it. So that's my invitation to you. Uh, the last thing is as we're anticipating Easter, it, it's, it sounds crazy, but a week from, a little bit over a week from today is gonna be Good Friday and then Easter. And we're preparing some cool things to do on Good Friday for you as you're in your home, as well as preparing for Easter Sunday morning as best we can. Uh, but one of the things I wanna invite you to do that I'd like you to, to jump on as soon as you can is to go ahead and take a very brief video of you, your family, you individually. Um, and this is what I want you to do. I want you to just turn it, turn your phone, not this way, but the other way, up and down. And I want you to just look into the phone and say all together, he is risen, he is risen indeed. That's all you need to do. He is risen, he is risen indeed. Smile on your face would be awesome. And, uh, and then I'd like you to do is I want you to go ahead and email that to info at roswellchurch.org info at roswellchurch.org. We're still in the season of Lent, but we're anticipating the resurrection. It's coming. And so we want to be able to have a little moment together on Easter morning to be able to hear and see each other in a unique way. And so if you'll do that, that would be amazing. Again, go ahead and send that to info at roswellchurch.org. We'd love to be able to see your videos, your faces, and together have a unique opportunity to celebrate on Easter morning. <sighs> Miss being together. I miss seeing you guys face to face. Um, stay connected if you need something, if you're being affected in any of those categories, please reach out to us. We wanna be able to pray for you, encourage you, come alongside you in any way we can. So you're loved, look forward to seeing you uh, this coming Sunday online.